The Swans might still be a long shot for the Premiership, but as Richmond found out, they have one big ace up their sleeve. They're always tough to beat at the SCG. McLean almost getting on to it. Asprey, McLean brings him down and uh, keeps the ball in. Roberts Thompson takes the tackle high. Asprey's in trouble. Yep. Yeah, it looks like a, a dislocated knee. I think Richo touched on that. You just see all the body weight going through it and uh, he hasn't moved. He's in a hell of a lot of pain. The ball comes from Reed to Kennedy. Long kick inside the full at 50. Roberts Thompson went down. Dennis Lane, the hyphens. The hyphens combine. With no Asprey. So CB wins it down. Vickery clever to Jackson. Jackson 60 metres out. Goes to the opposite pocket. Clearing room for Revolt. That was an intelligent kick. Coming off the bye with 36 goals. Kick is on the way and it's good. Goods again. Well, as it was, it could have been headed for the chest of Hanabury. Took the deflection off Goods. Cochin comes through. Martin on his knees. Goes looking for support. Miller couldn't find a way through. Malcheski grabs the football. How's that for a snap? And we've got a boundary throw in. Delidio tracking Reed. Again. The Ruckman having to judge it on the breeze. Roberts Thompson snaps it. Goal and gets it. Roberts Thompson's playing as a forward and Miller's defending on him at the moment. Miller being a, a key forward and Roberts Thompson a defender. So yeah. he's done the big flip-flop. Reverse trolls. Now Martin could go all the way here. He can really kick freely from 50 metres. Well, he's timed it really well and it's going straight through. He's a mighty good player, this kid. Got more tricks than we thought. There goes the kick from CB down towards full. Forward in front, Reed again. A bit too conscious of his opponent. Now Reed time. should kick this one after a string of behinds, and he does. He does attack the ball very hard, Tommy Hislop, and had he's, an unfortunate run with injuries. He's hurt those bandages, you say. To Newman played that well, and then Hurley looking for Grigg. Grigg cuts it off. Deledio should finish with a goal, and he does. Belting the ball forward. Goods was looking for it. And then McGlynn kicks the ball to full forward. Reed and Miller. This time Miller able to hold him up. Dennis Lane, Reed brilliantly done. And Jenna gets the goal. So it's the Swans that get it. White gets it from Rance. Opens it up. Conker had to wait. Oh. Did well. And then he committed himself. Over committed then. And then Conker, neat kick off the boot. And Vickery's got the mark. 11 goals, two from set shots. Actually, Richmond have been really accurate this year from set shots. And that looks good, and the Tigers get a really important goal at the start of the second half. Maybe one of those boards they use in the EPL. Now an opportunity down the outer side for Deledio. Up oh. the top. Oh, what a mark, Revolt. More a puck than a mark. Out of the middle, Cochin gave it across to Nahas, boots it towards half forward. Upended was Foley, taken away by Bird. Indiscriminate hand pass, Martin gives it to Jackson. Ricochets back to him. Martin has tied the scores. Slapped out of there by Roberts Thompson. That's the best I can do. Jack chases the footy, well done. Giving them a spark, lays it off O'Keefe. On the 50, goes long down towards full forward, and it bounces through. Players surging on that football. Couldn't get it clean. McGlynn bundled towards the boundary line. Still, still a live ball. Off the ground by Kennedy. It's a goal. Two goals in a minute after no goals at all for much of the second half. And now it's McVeigh getting it from O'Keefe and Lewis Roberts Thompson a free kick. And the advantage is given and Reed gets his second goal. Wow. Sydney streaming forward. Teddy Richards takes the mark 50 metres out. He did that magnificently, Teddy Richards. Short to Jetta. They haven't been able to buy a set shot all day. It's been a remarkable day. Oh, Bang, yes. he goes. There you go. <laughs> a tight contest in blustery conditions. The Swans held the lead for three quarters before the determined Tigers grabbed the lead in the final term. But the Swans would not be denied grinding out a trademark win despite some woeful kicking. The final score, 921-75 to 911-65. Jetta and Reed with two goals apiece for the Swans. For the Tigers, Martin and Revolt and Vickery also with two goals each. One injury concern out of the match, Tiger David Asprey with a dislocated knee. After the match, John Longmire was asked how they regained control of the match when the Tigers got some momentum. 
We had a couple of structural things we had to sort out, uh, and really the things that we could, could control. Sometimes you can't actually control the goal kicking, so you try and control what you what you can, which is the structures and intensity, ground balls, um, you know, those type of things you're trying to address as a coaching staff, and that was the things we addressed at three quarter time. And I thought they had a bit of momentum in that last quarter, and we were able to hold them out, which was good. It's hard to say as a step forward, you, you still lose, but you know the way the guys are look, they're fighting, the way they go, they, they don't give up our guys, which is a, which is a real credit to them. But you know, you look at you look at uh, the Swans and, and, and when the, the chips are down, they're good players stand up. You know, Keith deliver, delivers uh, goods was was good in stages as well, and you know we just need to keep working on the consistency of our ball club. And you know, certain players, I think, are, are getting there where they need to go, but there's certain players that definitely need to step up as well. So we'll keep improving, we'll keep working on some things. There, there's some things we learn out of the game today that we, we need to take in the next week, and you know we'll go onwards and upwards from there.